Could you say post game after when is your favorite thing? What was oh yeah, favorite? it's it, it's awesome. It's it, for me, it's really just the the sounds. Uh, the smiles, um, the smell, just everything about it, being present in the moment. And uh, that's what you coach for is an opportunity to see your guys uh, celebrate victory and, and more so just a confirmation of all the work that they put in, uh, the belief that they that they had for 60 minutes, um, just the, the, the hard days uh, that they've been through uh, to all, you know, culminate to, to experience that joy in the locker room. So it's a, it's a, it's an experience that's hard to describe, uh, but that's why you that's why you coach to see these young men um, experience joy like that. There's been a lot of talk about fight the fight of this team. Uh, yeah. Here. Yep. The, the touchdown that Musket breaks away from the rush dumps it off to Malik. Malik fights through four tackles. Um, what, what did that play kind of show you? Uh, that's a, that was a big boy play. That's what I told Malik, and and that's what you've seen out of this team is is they is they fight. You know they they they're not they're not going back down. Right now, we, we got to play smarter at times and, um, and and play more complimentary football at times. But one thing that you can't question about this team is their resilience and their willingness to fight. Uh, and so that's just a testament to, to this group of uh, um, individuals. I think it's a testament to where our football program is. You know, since November 13th of last year, man, we've had to fight every single day for everything. Right, we, we've had to fight on the field. We've had to fight in the classroom, and we've had to fight mental health, and we've had to fight everything. Uh, so, so that's just you're seeing it on the field, and hopefully, we can build upon that fight. Because what I tell them all the time is, yeah, you got to have that fight, uh, but you also got to have other components to be able to win uh, at the highest level. Tony, when, when, when Mike fumbles mm -hmm. through the end zone, did you have a chance after that to gather your team around, or did they? You know, it, they, they kind of did it themselves, and it was one of those deals. It's a, it's a quick, you know, it's a quick turnaround. But I did have a chance to, you know, to to make eye contact with Mike and call him over and say, hey, man, we're coming back to you. You're going to get another you're going to get another opportunity uh, at this. So just just believe. Hey, and that's and that's what we're trying to build as a program is it's all about the next play. Right. That zoom focus. So whether you have a good play, the previous play or a bad play, it's all about the next play. And at times you're going to have, you know, some of those situations. But what you saw is just a group that that believed, and and what I'm proud of is is you know I've told the guys from day one they can do it, right? I told them they could play with the first opponent all the way through this one, right? But the key the key is believing that you are going to be the guy that's going to make the play and not waiting on somebody else. And I think that's what you saw. Uh, you saw more guys uh, tonight saying, you know what, let me be the one that 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 makes the play. You and Jess have always said that you wanted to balance off and mm -hmm. establish running game. I think this is probably the most balanced. Mm -hmm. balanced yeah, it, it just a confirmation of, of that they one, they can do it, and then two, what it takes, you know, and confidence. You know, you did it versus, you know, one of the top defenses, you know, in our league. Um, and, you know, they they were fighting for their season too. You know, they have they had big aspirations and hope and, and uh, uh they were coming off a big win and, and and for us that's where it starts and, and hopefully when the guys watch the tape they'll get confirmation that hey I can do this, you know, and the key is being consistent and then now you'll have a chance to see that when you are consistent consistent, you have a chance to, to be balanced. And when we're balanced, then we have a chance to, to be able to score some points and, uh, and put up some yards. How much of the credit for that balance goes to the offensive line? Yeah, I mean, you know, they they they've they've been through some adversity too. There's, there's, they've been uh, shuffling, you know, about every week. Uh, but what I saw is I saw, you know, more times than not, we were playing on their side of the line of scrimmage. You know, which when you when you create a surge, uh, you can get the backs going downhill. Uh, and not only did they do that, they they captured edges and they held on to them so that we can get the ball to the outside. Um, so uh, a lot of the credit's going to go uh, to those guys. Uh, and then a back, what a back's supposed to do is a back is supposed to be in a race and make them right when, when they may not be right. But more times than not, if you're putting up over 200 yards rushing, then your offensive line uh, put together a good effort. Tony, after, uh, after, the, after Carolina goes up and mm -hmm. put together a 12-play drive, uh, yeah. back, and how key uh, was that? Yeah, they, they bailed me out. I was a little aggressive on that first fourth down uh, right there. And it kind of <laughs> it was it was on the fringe. You know, we were about 41-yard line. You know, uh, too far for a field goal, and then with Sparky's big leg, you know, it's it's hard to to uh, to pin him. And so I, I just said, "Hey, man, coming out of half, let's be aggressive." But uh, but I thought they did a good job of just responding. And and again, that's a testament to the guys of of a hey, playing complimentary football, 
Um, you know what? It doesn't matter. We knew it was still going to be a lot of game left. You're there in the third quarter, man. Just keep playing. Uh, and this, and for us, we want to try and get the game to the fourth quarter. Get the game to the fourth quarter, uh, and then we grew up tonight. You know, finding a way to finish in the fourth quarter. You knew that this is the kind of play that they were capable of, for, but for them to display it in That's this right. capacity tonight against a team like Carolina, what is that like? You know, I, I think that, that, that they'll enjoy it. They'll get a bunch of text messages uh, tonight on the, way, on the way home. There weren't as many text messages when we didn't finish games, right? But they'll have a bunch of text messages tonight. Uh, hopefully they won't get too, too caught up in that. And, uh, and just understand that, that, hey, this is what you're capable of, and so then, then there's no turning back, right? Let this be, you know, that, 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 that fuel to the fire that, that just wants, wants them to get back on the practice field and, like, let's go see what, we're, what, what more can we do. You know, as opposed to, okay, well, this is just a one-off, right? Hopefully these guys will understand this is what I've been telling them all year. This is what you're capable of. Uh, but I believe, you know, second half of the season, uh, these guys are going to use this to, to help them down the stretch. You've used the word confirmation before uh, with a tough slate coming up. How badly or how important is this confirmation? Well, I, I think every game is important, right? And we talked about our goal was was to make it to the postseason, right? And and what I what I told them before the games, I said, man, we're fighting, man, we're fighting for our livelihood. If if we want to accomplish one of our our main goals, then every game matters, right? And so uh, it doesn't matter if you're playing against a top ten team or not, uh, home or away, right? You got to go out there and you got to earn it. And and I also told them, I said, you know what? There's not, a, I don't believe there's another program based off of what we've been through over the last year that deserves to win more than we do. However, it's not about what you deserve. It's about what you go out and you earn, right, and what you're willing to take. And, and, and I think these guys got more confirmation on that tonight. It's not about what we deserve, right? It's about what we're going to go out there and earn snap after snap. And then when the opportunity is there, we got to take it. Tony Drake May was not overly impressive tonight. How much credit goes to your defense for that? No, um, uh, I thought I thought our defense uh, did a great job of, of of staying on top of some routes at times. Uh, didn't give up too many super explosives. Held up against the run. You know, I think that was the the key was to be able to stop the run. I think when you can 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 hold up against the run, then it it eliminates some of the play actions and things uh, that they have. And um, but uh, you know he uh, he had a couple balls dropped. You know uh, that that kind of went our way. Uh, I'm not going to take anything away from from Drake. I think he's a, an unbelievable quarterback. And, uh, but but tonight was was our night, and our guys made enough plays, uh, and they did enough up front to disrupt some timing uh, to be able to uh, to give us the opportunity to to make enough stops to win the game. What was your vantage point of James's game ceiling? You know, I, I was I was back behind it, and so so I saw where the the pressure was coming, and so you know James uh, comes up with the uh, interception, but the hit is what caused it uh, to be off target. Uh, and I saw it, and then I looked at it on the on the screen, and then I just wanted to distract the referees so that they didn't get a good look at it. Because <laughs> it was one of those deals. Like, you know, it's a tough deal. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's, if it's called the other way, then it's hard to overturn. If it's called the way it is, it's hard to overturn. So uh, I'm just glad that we got the call in our favor. Did you see this coming during the bye week in terms of, I know you said you're confident they could do this, but did you see this performance tonight? I've, I've seen this. I've seen this coming, you know, for for several weeks, right? In in all those games that uh, that we've been close, right? Um, uh, I've seen I've seen it coming. It's just it was at some point we had to make the decision to 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 finish the game, right, and not and not be close. And so uh, the guys did a great job from a preparation standpoint. Um, coaches did a great job with the previous week of, of making sure we got the work that we needed, tried to get our guys back to full strength. And uh, then when Tony and the crew showed up on uh, on Monday, you could tell, you know, that they had uh, they had a fire and a, and a, and a tenacity about them uh, to get after. And I think it's uh, one for this game, but two more so importantly to me, it's it's they want to they want to attack the second half of the season. Right. They recognize the opportunities that we let slip away. Uh, we don't have room for error, uh, and they got the mindset to go to go and attack. So uh, proud of my quarterback. I see him sitting over my shoulder right there. Uh, man, just the, the the this guy here, right? Uh, how he's played uh, down the stretch, coming back from from injury. Uh, had a look in his eye. Man, he wasn't going to be denied. Man, he's he's pulling the ball down and running it, and he's falling forward. Man, he's leading his troops. Uh, so so super super proud of uh, of our number eleven.